welcome, welcome to Historic Christ Church here at 121 East Main Street in Stevensville, Maryland on Kent Island, the third oldest English-speaking settlement in America. We're delighted to have you with us today and we're at the inside of this 1880 Christ Episcopal Church, which was originally the Anglican Church. The pews are original. The uh, lightly colored windows that you see are original. Uh, and even the stained glass windows are historic because they're over 50 years old. In 1626, a young man came up to this island and his name was William Claiborne. And he came up just exploring the area. He was sent up here by Captain John Smith. And so Captain John Smith was settling Jamestown in 1607. And he said to William Claiborne, well, we are going to try to make a success out of this settlement, but why don't you see if you can deal with the Indians and try to set up a trade? So William Claiborne came up to Kent Island in 1631, and that's a date we need to remember, 1631, and he settled on the southern part of Kent Island and a place called now Romacoke, and it was called Kent Fort. And so in 1632, he brought Father James, and he was the one who was the very first uh, rector in the area, and he framed a church and continued that church until, oh, 20 years later, they moved on up to the town of Broad Creek, which ends up the first town that we have on Kent Island. And they were here in 1652. And so they started to build this Christ Episcopal Church. And amazingly enough, it, they didn't use money in that time. That church, as many colleges and other churches, uh, were built with tobacco. And so they raised about 5,860 pounds of tobacco. And I guess that's worth about $1,000 in, in the present day money. And so they used the slim currency and built the first church there. So that was 1652, and in successive years, they had about four churches in that town of Broad Creek. We're on Ken Island at the Broad Creek Cemetery, a very interesting historical spot. Mid-1600s, 1651, etc., Christ Church was built here. This spot we're standing was the hub of colonial activity on Ken Island, not downtown Stevensville, but right here. In 2003, an archeological study was done at this site. And if you look, we can see the bricks mark out where they believe the original Christ Church or one of the early churches existed. And remember, this was the hub of activity for colonial Ken Island. The center of the community was moving they moved from Broad Creek Cemetery uh, up here into Stevensville in 1880. The church was in use then until 2003. So they moved down to Route 8 and built a new church there. Uh, in two, 2019, the Friends of Historic Christ was able to accept a uh, conveyance of this property to that committee, and we are now going to establish the church as a center for the community, as still a wedding venue, and we want to really promote uh, Ken Island history through tours and through lectures. We want to open this as an art and cultural center. And we want to make this church just a real uh, center of the community. Thanks for watching. To watch all of the Queen Anne's County historic videos, subscribe to the channel.